Okay, in the last um, lesson, we went ahead and learned how to be able to create the shadow on here so it looks just like the Triton Tech website. Uh, the next thing we want to do is make this section down here, but we also notice that there's a uh, mouse over um, that we can see. Should I have this up? Okay, and when Triton Tech finally comes up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create that effect, and we're also going to start building the bottom part here. So let's see, it's trying to come up. All right, so when it's over, you can see that things have changed here. There's also a drop down menu, so we're not gonna at this time. So the next thing we're gonna put these sections down in here. All right, so let's go back and bring up our Sublime. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is um, we have our navigation section here, and we're just going to add another property. And we're going to say that nav ul li, <clears throat> and then when a person hovers over that list item or these list items, we want to use the hover uh, property, and this is going to impact the anchor tag. All, right, all we're going to do, whoops, that wasn't right. Then we do brace. And all we're going to do is change the background color. And we're just going to make it black. So that's going to overwrite this uh, box shadow that we have and just put a black background on it. So let's go ahead real quick and file and save. Thank you. File and save. And then we'll go back and refresh our page. Okay, now when I mouse over, and nothing happens. So let's go back and see why nothing happened. Because that should have. All right, still nothing. All right, so let's go back and see what we've done. Um, Nav, U, L, L, I, hover, A, background color. Oh, background color block. There we go. Misspelled black. All right, now, so now we'll try it. File and save. Okay, my inability to type has once again reared its ugly head. All right, so let's go ahead and, ah, there we go. So now you can see that very similar to the Trident Tech website. When we mouse over, we're going to have that uh, issue there. That, that, uh, so people can see that they're on actually that one. All right, so the next thing we want to do, if um, I can type correctly, is add this bottom part um, to our website. So let's go back and do that. All right, so on that, we're going to have to add some HTML because we don't have the structure for that yet. So after our nav section, we're going to add a section and then make some space. All right, and then in our section, we're gonna also do an unordered list. So we're gonna do UL, tab, try it again, tab. All right, and then we're gonna make some space with for that. And then probably get rid of some of these other spaces. Okay, so in the UL, we're going to have um, a list item. And in that list item, we're just going to have an image. And so we'll do IMG, tab, go back, tab. Okay, the image source is going to be our images folder, slash, banner, image, four. A JPG. All right, and then we're going to do uh, the next line, line item is going to be uh, the same thing. It'll be LI. And then inside that will be an image tab. Go back. Tab again. And this will be very similar 
images slash banner image five dot jpg and if I copy that and go to the next line and paste it in and we can change this one to image six okay on the um, on our website I had the three pictures so you can download them and put them into your images folder and then we'll do um, some styling on this first let's see if I have done it file save and refresh okay so my pictures are not there but imagine if they were all right let's go back and take a look at our sublime text and now we're going to go ahead and have to style uh, those so one of the first things we're going to do is style the section itself so that is the thing that contains the list and the pictures and on that one we're going to give it a height of about 400 pixels and we're going to give it a background color let me move this up give it a background color and I used my safe color picker and I came up with a beige color that was similar to what Trident Tech had and that's uh, FFCC99 all right so that's the only thing we have to do for that so let's do file and save and see what that has done very good okay so we've got that on there all right now let's go back okay the next thing we have to do is um, wish those pictures were there okay let me pause for a second okay so um, let's go back and take a look at uh, my page again now I've got the pictures there and we can see that we have an issue with the pictures and that's because they're all stacked and they got those that dash with a dot next to each one so we need to go ahead and format or do some styles to get that looking uh, better we also need to get rid of this white line at the very top so it's uh, one of the first things first let's go back and the first thing we're going to do is change the uh, settings for our li so we'll say sections section ul whoops li so we're going to take in in the section in the um, unordered list uh, each of the li tags will have these properties and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to float them to the left all right so they're not stacked on on top of each other and then we're going to go ahead and change the width of those pictures and we're going to make it uh, 30 percent okay then we'll do file and save and then go back and check our page okay so now this is how it looks right here and then we'll refresh okay so now now they are stacked one after another we also have to get rid of that uh, text decoration so that will be the next thing we do let's go back okay so for the UL we're going to say section UL oops and then brace and we'll say list style and just say none that'll take away that will take away that part of that <clears throat> Okay, then the next thing we're going to do let's see how it looks after we did that file and save and then go back and refresh 
All right, looking a little bit better. And what we've done is now we got we don't no longer have the dots um, on there, and we are hit our 10-minute points. So we will finish up the rest in the next lesson.